all right welcome back to the channel if you're just joining me for the first time welcome i've got the m1 grand i've got a target set up at 100 yards the accuracy though isn't really what i'm looking at here i want to talk a little bit about the schuster gas plug that i installed in the front of the gas port on the grand so that we can shoot commercial ammo a lot of uh conversation stories and message boards caution about shooting standard 30-06 ammo in the grand the round used by the military is known as the m2 ball round it's a very lightweight and generic 30-06 round there's a lot of concern about shooting commercial off-the-shelf hunting ammunition because the rounds are loaded at greater pressures not only is the bullet weight even if the commercial ammo is the same bullet weight 150 grains the powder is loaded a little bit differently i've got a box and a half of remington corlock 30-06 150 grain that i'm going to use for this demonstration i'm keeping it at a low weight um, it's a this is a soft lead center tip for improved expansion once you hit your target it is definitely designed for big game the, this commercial ammo is 2910 feet per second just coming out of the muzzle which is a little bit higher than standard m2 ball the solution to this dilemma is an adjustable gas plug, which releases the excess pressure. There are several brands out there. Mine is a Schuster. This is how the Schuster plug arrives in an unassuming plastic sleeve along with a tool and the plug itself. You don't have to use the included tool. It's just a standard Allen wrench. All right, so with your original gas plug in the rifle, I highly recommend getting a, a commercial gas port tool. It's designed for this kind of a job. If you absolutely have to use a screwdriver, make sure that it's one that fits in snug according to the measurement of the plug. This one fits pretty well, but even so, I use a barrier, which in this case is an old t-shirt, to reduce the pressure that I'm applying on the part. Now, I've done this before. Um, I've already broken the gas plug loose. You might have a little trouble with that, depending on how tight it is in there and how long it's been since this part has been taken off and cleaned. Once you break it, you can pretty much just unscrew it by hand, pull it out. Here's the Schuster, and there's your insert. Mine's already been set, so when you receive it, it's gonna be a little bit higher up in those threads, the insert there. It's a standard Allen wrench. Just put it in there and turn it to install it. Obviously with mine, the paint is wore off the front end on the gas tube and the, the barrel on the front side post. Nobody's ever come up to me and said, well, that thing looks funny. Look at that discolored gas plug. I'm not too worried about it. Make sure that's in there tight. There we go. You don't want this thing flying off if you've got a really heavy load. We begin by turning the insert in the center of the plug to the left, which opens until it is near the top of the plug itself. You don't want it so loose that it'll fall out though. This plug acts as a valve. With the insert loosened, it releases excess pressure created by the hunting ammo. There won't be enough pressure to cycle the ammo and make the rifle fire semi-auto. So after each shot, turn the insert to the right a single turn. Repeat this until the rifle fires, ejects the spent shell, and loads the next round into the chamber. Turning it to the right essentially closes the valve and the process finds the right pressure to work the action without harming the internals of the rifle. The round fired, but the bolt did not move to eject the spent brass or cycle the next round. Let's tighten the insert slightly and try again. All right, so that round ejected, but coming back to the rifle. Not load the next round, so we're still not quite there. I turned it three turns. I'm gonna do one more and see if the rifle completely functions and cycles the way it should. I have been loading three at a time and firing once. Of course, I unload the remaining cartridges before any adjustments are made for obvious reasons since we're messing around with the muzzle of a rifle. It seems like common sense, but I can already see the comments now. Somebody will call me out on it. After the last adjustment, the rifle cycled the way it should. For extra precaution, I'm gonna turn it back one click 
essentially reversing the last adjustment just to be 100% certain. Grand owners would agree that taking care of your rifle and ensuring the longevity of the life of your investment is the foremost priority here, especially performing an out-of-the-ordinary out task like this one. I don't shoot commercial that often, especially not since I did receive my ammo from the CMP. So as far as long term, you know, do you risk blowing up your gun? Do you risk blow it up, blowing up your wallet? Honestly, other than this commercially manufactured M2 ball, the surplus of World War II ammo, the stuff that comes in those Greek tins from the CMP, all that stuff, it's its getting harder and harder to find. Your dad's generation or my dad's generation, they the stuff flowed like milk and honey, but it's just, it don't grow on trees anymore. So you just have to make do with what you got. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.